I think eventually she might be adoptable, but um, she was also um, she was also very happy being in the wild. So um, I'm not sure that your infusion looks great. I'm not sure that putting her putting the, all of the time and effort into trying to socialize her and find her a special needs home I, when we could have another cat in there like you know one of these cats that is going to need medical attention I'm not sure that's so so I don't know lots of things to consider there especially when we're so overloaded right now but um we will do the best the, the best thing for her um Right, so you have your meds. You can come back for smuggles if you want. Uh, Mason, I'm gonna do Mason next because I want to get a look at his paw. He's such a good boy. So, um, do we have any? Hi, you're so cute. Probably needs to change anyway. Okay, good boy. He's a good boy. Oh. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Head. You're such a good boy. You're such a handsome boy. Let's get you comfy. Let's get you comfy because we got some work to do. You're such a good boy. What a good boy. That's a good boy. You got some good snuggles yesterday. You'll be very happy to get your bandage off. You got your pain meds on board. Should we do your ears first? He had a pretty ridiculous ear infection. You good boy. It's quieter down here today, which is nice. We were still trying to dig out from the cleaning nightmare. Yesterday, so it was a bit a bit of activity going on. Oh good boy. You look actually pretty good. Oh it's okay. Oh it's okay. Is it scary? You're so handsome. Oh you're so handsome. So we've sent uh ringworm PCRs off for basically everybody in the house right now. So hopefully we'll have results back in a couple of days. And then we'll know uh, the new kittens. Um, we are really, really hoping the new kittens can be negative so that they can 
go in with the metrics. We're hoping that met the metrics and the new kittens have to be negative, and then we can combine them, and then thankfully they will be available for adoption in a couple of weeks. Um, they'll be our first ones available, which will be nice. But if not, if one of them comes back positive, then we're going to be super bummed. Because we have to start moving some of these kittens into wonderful homes. All right, you're looking, you're looking so much better in here in this ear. So much better. I'm very happy with that. Still, still a bit itchy, but that's normal. Good job, buddy. That's gotta be feeling much better. normal. Oh, it's such a good boy. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. A moment of panic. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Good job, buddy. I'm sorry. I know it's scary. I know it's scary. You're a good boy. <clears throat> Let me check your other ear. Oh, that's a big sigh. A big sigh. Where did I put those? Oh, this one's looking a bit gunky. Buddy. <clears throat> Good 
good boy. Now, hi girl, you're so cute. Now for the part that you're gonna be excited about, buddy. We just need you to stay put a bit. Oh, okay, okay, all right, that works. tried to get it off but he doesn't what he doesn't know is that I have a miracle kitten who is an expert at bandage avoidance scissors so Splint. The idea of the splint is that we want to keep pressure off of the pad of his foot while it heals. This is the part where I always get growled at and hissed at. 
with puffy puffs. Oh, you're a big strong man. You're a tough guy. You're a tough guy. And it's also on different fur. Okay. Moment of truth. Looks good though. The tightness was good. Moment of truth. All right, bud. I'm going to have to rotate you a bit. I'm sorry. I'll keep your little face covered, I think. Oh no, I'm not keeping your face covered at all. You're good at getting your little snout out. I'm sorry, bud. But I need to get a good look at this. Where's your elbow? Yeah, there's your elbow. There we go. Perfect. Okay. This is like the bane of my existence. All right. Trying to get iPhone photos. are in focus. Nope, 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 nope. Like, I don't understand how, why, it's so irritating. All right, it's my, the normal, this normal camera must do a better job, but it's broken on my new phone. So um, I have to use only the selfie camera. Maybe I can use my good camera to try to take a picture. You're being such a good boy, aren't you? It looks actually, I think, pretty good. Not sure what. At least that's fairly in focus. So now I just need one that I can send to Dr. F. Okay. Maybe if I turn the flash off. Sorry, buddy. You're being such a good boy. You're such a good boy.
Oh my gosh, seriously. Like, could they make it? It's just impossible to do one handed, is all. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you, if you hold your paw up for me, then I can do it with available. Let's see. Oh my gosh, seriously. Focus. I'm not gonna. Okay. Oh my gosh. See, and when I push the button, I like shake the phone, so then it's not in focus either. It's so many, so many problems. There, maybe, maybe this will work. Maybe I can get it now. Okay. Let's see. One of those has got to be in focus, right? got to be there that's like marginal not really in focus but maybe I need to try again with a flash yeah, no, none of these are good so irritating I know it's low light in here but this is 2016 am I right all right forget it Take three. Okay, I'm gonna turn the flash on. Or I can try with my headlamp. Well, that usually doesn't work so well. And of course I can't see what I'm pointing at. Where's my, where's the lens? Bogus. Oh my gosh. You guys should just mute this because I'm. <laughs> this is going to be like another 40 minutes of me struggling because I have to get a picture. It won't auto like why why can't it just auto focus in the middle of the screen there's got to be is there a setting that I can just tell it to auto focus in the center box does anyone know like so I don't have to tap the screen is it not obvious that I want that focused on some focus on something like I don't understand it's just cats I can do, but I've wasted now like 20 minutes and got no, no zero usable pictures. Gwen's in ISO, so I, she, it's too much, too much of work for her to get un would and then too much laundry and it's fine. I'll take one with this camera and then I'll have to just upload it. It'll just take me an hour. It'll just take an extra hour. No big deal. It's a hardware problem so that and I, it's a hardware problem so that and they don't have the new they don't have the new phones in stock yet, so I can't there's nothing I can do about it. And I had been carrying around my old phone for this reason. But that's in the ringworm room, so I can't bring it in here. Anyway, in the grand scheme of things, it's not the end of the world. It's just irritating. Because it should be so easy. It should be so easy. And it's just not. Alright, enough, enough whining about cameras. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna upload this because I want to send it to Dr. F before I 
before I get into bandaging him back up. So that just stand by for another 10 minutes. I will post on uh, tiny papers, yes. Yes, I will. She should be able to see that pretty well. I think these look good. I'm just going to see if she wants me to clean anything. So I need to just crop this. And add some clarity and some sharpening. Okay, we'll see if she has anything to say about that. And in the meantime, in the meantime, oh, so um, so the good news is we got um. We got results back from Mason and it is not a tumor. It was not a tumor, which is really good. It's time to charge my thing. Uh, that is a very nicely done repair. Just wanna see if there's anything. Um, so not a tumor. Um, it, it looks like a, uh, a reaction to chronic deep infection and um, irritation, ulceration. So um, probably he's had that for a long, long time and that granulation tissue has just grown up as the body tried to protect, protect the foot. Um, uh, but that it would have been so painful. Um, so uh, antibiotics and bandaging and pain meds are the right the right call on that. Um, so that's good news. And I will wait and see what everyone has to say about the uh, about Radley's results, and I'll give you that update. Oh, yeah, 
so it could be it could be uh, from an injury um, that got infected and just never was able to heal. That's a horrible spot to have an injury for a cat because you know it's always going to be getting dirty and opened up and infected and stuff. So um, it's got to be feeling much much better. Um, so I'm going to see if I get any sort of response from Dr. F and in the meantime we're going to do some ear rubs because Mason likes ear rubs and see if I can get him a little more relaxed. I will check Calvin's butt, don't worry. Giving his pain meds a chance to kick in because he was he's feisty. There's a bin of feistiness back there with Beatrix and uh, Calvin in it. Unfortunately, the pain meds don't sedate them at all, um, but they do make them more comfortable, which is nice. Oh, I love it. What a good boy. What a good boy. Uh, Beatrix is feisty on approach, but once she gets settled in the lap, she does a lot of purring. So it's that, but it's that initial, um, her instinct, her feral instinct uh, needs to be overcome. Um, so. Oh. Oh. Mm. Calvin is from our other colony, so he doesn't know these cats, except for the last couple of days. Um, he may have wandered through there a few times because um, his territory was probably pretty big, but, um, let me get you so handsome. What a good boy. What a good boy. Does it feel good to have that bandage off? I bet it does. Calvin's eye socket looks like it's doing great. Um, our ferals seem to be much more comfortable with other cats around, even if they don't know them. They're pretty accepting of new cats, so I don't think that's contributing. I think he's just scared. He's definitely scared. Um, you can tell just even when he's in, in my lap, all wrapped up, just even any touch he flinches. So he's, he's just scared. He's a feral cat and he's scared. He needs some more massages. A big, strong, feral cat. You're a good boy. Mason is scared too, but he's more, um, he's, he's more relaxed. He's able to relax. Um, Calvin stayed, has stayed super tense.
I will rebandage him before I put him back so that his paw can continue to heal. Boo and Finster are named after monkeys. If you saw them last night, they climbed right up the wall of their kennel. Um, we only have them in there until we get ringworm results back. We just are out. We have no space. We have no space. So um, that was the best we could come up with on a short notice. Hey, do you think that you might like some fluids maybe next time? You might be able to use a little. You are definitely eating though and drinking. I see that. That's good. That's a good boy. Always oh, a good boy. He's a good boy. They're very cute. They need a little socialization work, but as do Nano's brothers. good though it wasn't on there too tight it stayed on for three days that's good so that means we can go another we can probably stretch it to four days next time if he keeps it on doesn't seem to be bothering him I was a little nervous because he wasn't uh, putting weight on it that maybe it was uncomfortable but I think it's good for him to take it easy on this paw while it heals And it's pretty... It's a pretty good shape, I think. So, anyway. I will put it back on, unfortunately, for him in a few minutes. Where did I put the... All of the uh, discharge looks appropriate. Like it doesn't look pussy or anything. So that's good. Maybe I'll send a picture of that. That I can probably take a picture of. Sort of. With my iPhone. Oh, come on. Good boy. He's a good boy. I'd be 
you getting so many spam texts? What a handsome boy. All right, let's start. Let's start the process. You're a good boy. What a good boy. All the ladies love Calvin. L L Calvin J. You so handsome. So handsome. All right, I'm gonna get your bandaging stuff prepared. Let's see. Make sure I have it all. Need this guy. that wrap. No, four inch, but this will do for now. Hold the gauze. Also needs to be doubled up. You can just leave that there. Leave that at full size. Oh, he's a good boy. Where's my tape? Okay. little tape strips are how are what hold the gauze on from the inside if you don't do these it will slide right off even if you tape the outside I tried many different ways to get things to stick without doing these so they don't pull the fur but Stick pad first. He's like, what? I know what you're doing. You're up to something. Stop it. Stop it. I'll uh, we'll put it like that. 
So that's the first layer, and then the roll of gauze is going to come next, but it's too wide, so I'm going to get some, and then I'm going to fold it over. Normally, uh, I would use like a two inch rolled gauze, but I can fold this over. The goal is to pad it nicely so that it's comfortable, not make it too tight, not make it too loose, keep it dry and keep pressure off of the bottom. That's the goal. Keep it clean allow it to heal basically. So, um, get this ready. I, didn't, I did a terrible job cutting this in half. Like a normal person. boy. Some cats, not to mention any names, Puffy Puffs, are not quite so cooperative.
phase one complete. It's okay, buddy. Taping that so it doesn't shift. And then This should keep it protected from getting wet. You're being such a good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. And now, see, last pass. You're pretty thin up there. You're such a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're such a good boy. I know you're going to be so mad that I've put it back on, but you should be able to... It should be pretty comfortable. Now, the question is, do we need another... I'll see how it goes without putting any additional tape on there. But I may need to add some if he's rambunctious. There! Good as new! Now I can use both hands for once. Where is it? If I can find it. Tilt, nope, tilt this way. Okay, hopefully that. Perfect, okay. Okay, good job. You are such a good boy. You're such a handsome boy. Let me see your face. 
with your face. Are you going to scamper off? You can if you want to. You're just such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Here, let's just tuck this with your other one. There. There you go. What a good boy. Hmm? Is that? Is that? Are you drooling a little? Hey, can I just look at you? Oh, can I? Oh my gosh. What? Oh, you have terrible teeth. Holy cow. I gotta get a picture of that. You might need a dental, buddy. Hopefully you will decide humans aren't so bad because someone, I feel like you can, I feel like you've been around a while and you might want to live your sunset years in, in, um, oh my gosh, look at that. iPhone focus. Seriously, do I ha really have to like touch you and tell you to, to focus? Like, do you not understand what your purpose is? iPhone, how are you? How do you take selfies if you can't focus on your own without being told? Maybe I'm too close. He is such a good boy. Oh my gosh, but you have such sad little teeth. Oh goodness, I think we might have to, buddy. I think we might have to get you a dental. I'm sorry. But those teeth look ridiculous. Oh gosh. You look like you've been around the block for a while. Buddy. Oh, look at that tartar. We'll get you take we'll get you fixed up, don't worry. Do you have any lower incisors? Let me see. Oh, that one looks like it hurts actually. I think that one's actually broken. Buddy. You know what? You just need to you just need to succumb. Just give in to the human because I think you're gonna need some I think you're gonna need some care over your lifetime. Poor poor little mason teeth. I don't know why none of those are I don't know why the I guess the front camera just doesn't have a focus function. You just I just need to get it fixed, but they need to get the parts in. Sorry, buddy, but we have to do it again. Blame Steve. Maybe if I hit this button. Okay, go. See, I can't do it with one ab. I'm sorry, you're such a good boy. Alright, those were acceptable. Those are somewhat better. They're still blurry, which is irritating. Because I want a nice clear picture. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. We'll get Auntie Kimsey to adopt you. I'll give you some braces. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, wow, well, that's nice. Sorry, buddy. All this handling is, is not, it's not, it's not so bad for him actually. Oh, 
well, let's see, I don't know how to get the light on him, and then hold the camera up there. What a good boy. Seriously, can you just, can something just work for me for five minutes? Just work. Would you be done with this? What is wrong with you now? Seriously, why are we doing? Why are we doing? Is everybody, everybody is protesting. I don't know. I bumped something on the camera. That's making ridiculous. Oh, me, oh, that's what it is. Hold on. You're such a good boy. What a good boy. Now I'm going to do it without the, that. Now that it's working. Sorry, buddy. This is the last one. It's just so I can give you the help that you need. You're such a good boy. You get lots of snuggles. Lots of snuggles. Okay. There we go. I'll post this on Tiny Tapeworms too. It's actually crazy. Oh, buddy, I think we might have to do some extractions on you. I think you might, you might be here for a while, unless we can get someone to, someone special to adopt you. to see if you have any sorry buddy I just want to see if you have any lesions in there I'm sorry you've been so good I'm sorry I just want to I just want to see Ooh. 
Oh. Oh boy. Darn it, I need a camera. I need a camera for that. I think he's got you might have a resort to lesion in there. The whole buddy. It's good you're on pain meds. We'll get that worked out. Dentistry. We need a dental specialist on the team. upper right canine. You're very handsome. Yes, you are. Very special. We'll get you fixed up, don't you worry. Don't you worry. to get um, Captain Starfish to adopt him. if that's the best pick. I'll post the picture on Tiny Tapeworms in a second. That one's not bad. 
it's not good. Oh, that's a good one of his broken canine. posted on tiny tapeworms. <clears throat> You're, so, you're so special. We'll get you all fixed up and feeling good and someone's gonna love you so much. Right? Oh, that's what you deserve. Do you want a tuna?
Ah, it's almost three o'clock. I don't know how that's possible. Where does the time go? I have to go feed today. I'm gonna get a purr out of him one of these days. 